Good morning guys! Today I'm gonna show you exactly how much I spent for 24 hours in Paris. I do get a lot of questions regarding all my travels, my budgeting and how much I spend in general and I thought that now that I'm here in Paris it would be a nice way to explain it to you a little bit or well just cover some of the most frequently asked questions that you guys have. Before I can actually show you what we spend in Paris, I think I need to mention how much I spend on actually getting here. I put it down in my notes for me to remember everything because it's gonna be a little bit of a mess otherwise. For our hotel, we are staying in, yeah, not a hotel-ish, but we booked it on booking.com and it's located in the second arrondissement, which is a very, very nice location. The cost of the hotel for my half for three nights in total is 833 euros, meaning that one night is 111 and a half euros per night and my flight out was uh, 214 euros meaning that it will be 71.5 euros a night that'll be just around 183 euros today already spent considering my flight and my accommodation and i haven't even started my day but i already mentioned you can do that way cheaper and way more expensive this morning i did go for a run like i did yesterday and you would know that if you watched my previous video from paris that running here is absolutely incredible and the good thing about running in paris is that it's free of course you can just put on a pair of trainers and then go out so I did not spend any money on exercise rather than if I were to go to a gym or do a berries class which I would love to do but they are closed right now so I saved my money from that and then just went for a run instead but let's get this day started the place that we stay at right here they have breakfast included so we're just gonna get that to our room meaning that we have zero costs for the morning however if you want to go to a bakery here in Paris a croissant would be one and a half euro or something so it's not really expensive or anything but it's just nice that we have breakfast literally right outside our door we can get in and just have here we're of course gonna take advantage of that and have our free breakfast in our room and then later on head out to explore the city and do some both free activities and something that's gonna cost a little bit I believe I'll show you <music> gonna head out and explore the city I need to say a huge huge thank you to today's sponsor of the video which is Skillshare if you're someone like me who wants to seek fulfillment new definitions of work and creative careers such as on social media like YouTube whatever if you want to take yourself serious like that I think Skillshare is the perfect platform here to get started it can be very overwhelming and quite confusing when you're starting out just like I did how do I begin everything is the one thing I ask myself and where do I even start and therefore I think that you guys should go and check out Skillshare, which is what I have done for the last couple of months. Skillshare is an amazing platform with a huge variety of classes to offer. They cover topics from photography, graphic design, video editing, business, marketing and even music classes as well. My goal with Skillshare is to get better at video editing, my own personal branding and building my online presence. As I mentioned a billion times to you, I really want to take my YouTube to the next level and I really want to fully focus on it. And it's absolutely the dream of mine to make YouTube my living one day, which I think that Skillshare can help me along with making that happen. Because one thing is what I do myself and what I think works for tips and tricks and stuff to make my videos captivating and really just building my presence on social media. But learning from online creators that do wants to do the same thing is just absolutely perfect. Personally, I do really enjoy their classes regarding video editing, social media and online presence based classes, most because they're a direct source of learning for me to improve my own game here on YouTube. I am so happy to be once again providing the first 1000 of you who become a member through Skillshare using my link in the description a month for free. There's absolutely no strings attached, meaning you can try it out, see if it works for you and then decide later on if you want to continue your own path to grow. I encourage all of you to go down, get busy and start building your own career for yourself and set the path to your life that you want to live.
heat or if it's sweat, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, it seems as if I have just managed to find a little bit more of a more quiet place that I can actually talk to you guys in and okay, there's a car approaching. No, it's gonna turn. All right, it is now 4 p.m. and I've spent 191 euros in total, point one. I needed to do just a little bit of update to you and just talk to you guys about a couple of things regarding saving for traveling, budgeting and all that stuff and how I make it work. First of all, I personally need to mention that whenever I don't travel, I work all the time. I just check my schedule for whenever I get back home and I fly out to Copenhagen back on Thursday and I have to work again on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whenever. So whenever I'm not traveling, I'm basically just working at home to save up for this. Secondly, I still live at home, which means that I don't have to pay rent, which is extremely fortunate when you want to travel. So I don't have to pay expenses for rent yet. However, that situation is going to change really soon regarding my whole living situation, but I'm not going to share that much about that because it's going to be a whole different video to talk about that. I know it sounds really weird, but whenever I travel, I don't set myself a certain budget or a limit to my expenses. I know it sounds weird because how are you gonna be able to travel and do that stuff whenever you don't set yourself a budget, but trust me, it is possible in the way that I do it. I have a rough estimate or an idea of how much I want to spend and how much I would like to keep on my bank account whenever I get back home. So I just keep it fairly reasonable. Here in Paris, it's fortunate that eating out is not that expensive compared to in other cities because it's just more convenient and it's easy to grab something and just go. You do, of course, have the option both to eat at home or eat out or whatever. That's one thing way to save money. But something that I really noticed about Paris as well is a lot of attractions are free for you to just come and enjoy. Of course, if you want to go inside museums and up in the Eiffel Tower and stuff like that, you of course have to pay. But overall, there's a lot of free things to do here. And secondly, well, thirdly, it's also a very walkable city. Of course, if you're staying in the outer parts, you have to pay to get into the center, then, then you can just walk around on bike. It's actually quite convenient and super easy. That is just another way you can save money just by getting around here. Of course, the metro wasn't that expensive, so I can't really put that into a budget or whatever. So I think that's actually fairly reasonable. I do need to mention that no, none of this trip is paid by anyone. I pay for all of this myself. Flight costs, my stay, whatever. Everything I spend here is fully paid for by myself. And that feels amazing when you're working and saving up money and you can just spend them however you want. I think that the point of what I'm trying to say is that you can make it possible to travel if you want to. You don't need to set yourself a strict budget. Of course, if you have expenses, that's one thing. But you can travel to the place that you want to. You just need to book certain things in advance and just look into the place places and think about do I want to go and eat out every single day do I want to go to all the museums and attractions and buy tickets for that stuff or do you just want to take it more easily and as it goes then you can of course save a lot more money I think that I'm gonna do another video in totally depth of this because it's a lot to talk about and right now I'm standing right in the pure open with everyone so I feel a little bit Ah, out of my comfort zone talking to my camera but regardless the time has passed 4 p.m. and no I haven't really been buying any other food than what you've seen I had my breakfast and then we got the matcha and Julie got her coffee just a while ago but I just haven't felt that hungry since I basically ate the entire bread basket for a late um, breakfast I think that I'm gonna go and grab something just by the supermarket just a little snack and a drink before we have to go out for dinner because dinner tonight is something that I'm really really excited for and it's gonna be a little bit more pricey and not expensive but it's something that you have to pay for if that makes sense it's kind of the mid-range I'm all down for that for now let's go to a supermarket buy just a little bit of something and then relax before we go out <laughs>
so it's about the like, um, 9 26 p.m. and we just finished having dinner our plan is that we're gonna go to the Eiffel Tower and watch it sparkle at some point we're probably gonna be there at 11 ish I have no idea the cost of this dinner so far but I know that we're gonna spend another four and a half euros on the metro once we have to go to the Eiffel Tower and go back but I'm gonna add everything on the screen for you so you can keep up with how much I'm spending today but um, we're in a little bit of a hurry I think in a hurry so yeah we're just wanting to pay and then we can go dinner was so good I I'm gonna go back here again Dub. Yeah. I had a dream wow. last night. Did everything I never do in real oh, life. Yeah. I stepped into a room and told oh, everyone to be quiet. Cause I had something to say to everybody who pay away whatever I want. Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, why are you going no special? Just going to the store. I think I'd have it all. Tell you why I be more. We're here like a billion other people. We saw the first sparkle by mistake. Actually, we was here early. So we're gonna go find a spot to sit down and wait for, I think, 55 minutes or something for the next one. But yeah, it's nice. We're just gonna chill out here. In the meantime, you can't get enough of this view. I mean, Okay, it's super blurry. Okay, okay. Oh my god! 